A donation drive organized by Tesco Malaysia for East Coast flood victims saw a total of 1.2 million kilos of food and other essential supplies being collected. Over the span of two weeks, the public and corporate sector gave 10 million ringgit worth of supplies, including ready-to-eat food, rice, cooking oil, mineral water and cleaning supplies. Flagging off over 130 SUVs and pickup trucks at its Aradamansara outlet, Tesco said some 2,000 staff and 5 to 6,000 volunteers were mobilised for the charity campaign. About 40 trucks and uh, traders will be heading towards Kumano and also Jirangtun because Kumano is still underwater and Jirangtun there are areas which I went was via boats so we will be going to via boats as well and we will be delivering food so that's why we need a lot of volunteers because they will be there in all these areas to do back sorting and packing. The remaining volunteers and trucks will be heading to four areas in Kelantan, namely Gua Musang, followed by Kuala Krai, Pasir Mas and Kota Baru, as well as Jerte in Trengganu. Aside from food, Aslam said cash donation from its sponsors were also used to buy school uniforms for students of Sekolah Kebangsaan Gua Musang. Volunteers will also be helping the locals in cleaning activities as they pick up the pieces. When land routes were inaccessible, 35 tons of relief supplies had been flown in via Malindo Air to affected areas. Although the floods have receded for land transport services to resume, the convoy will still take longer than usual to reach the disaster zones. Um, to Kota Baru, it takes about 10 hours. To Toronto and Kumano, it will probably take us about 4 hours because this convoy will be travelling at a very slow speed of about 60 per hour and um, so we need to make sure that uh, it is a safe journey so, uh, so it will take a bit more time than usual. Aslam noted once evacuees return to their homes, kitchen supplies and electrical appliances will be needed to help them rebuild their lives. He added the donation drive has ended for now due to space constraints but Tesco will assess the situation to see if more supplies are required. Jacqueline Peng, DHTV.